What's good, YouTube? This is man Spill Dog. You know, Keith Thurman, he do got a chance to win this fight with uh Tim Zoo coming up. You know, uh Keith is definitely uh way ahead of him in the experience department. And Keith has been in a lot of big fights. Sometimes the magnitude of a big pay-per-view fight or a big fight inside like the big casinos, MGM, stuff like that, sold out. Sometimes guys get on the stage like that and start choking a little bit. I've seen it happen several times uh, in boxing. Floyd Mayweather used to say it all the time. Uh, everybody can't handle them likes. And <clears throat> we have yet to be we have yet to see if Zoo can or cannot perform under uh those type of circumstances because we haven't really seen him face with it yet. I think in order for Keith to get a win in this fight, he gotta get through them first four or five rounds. <laughs> really, cause <clears throat> if I was Tim Zoo trainer. And I'm quite sure this is what's, how they're going to play it. <clears throat> Once the bell rings, we're going on attack mode. Make Keith get on his bike immediately. Uh, and go test him out. You know, he's he been out the ring for a couple of years. Had been fighting consistently even when he was in the ring the last time. So, as far as who's got the experience uh well not necessarily experience who's had the activity and who's been who should be more prepared for this fight it should definitely be Tim Zoo. uh but Keith Thurman is a KG veteran he's been boxing for a long time he's been in the ring with a lot of good fighters you know, uh, big punches, good boxers. You know, he done seen pretty much all of it. Uh, Manny Pacquiao. So, I don't think it's nothing Tim Zhu going to show him that he haven't seen yet. It's going to be about execution uh, for Tim Zhu. And it's going to be about, what was, what was the right word to say, uh, durability on Keith Thurman. And, uh, Keith Thurman going to have to be able to take take some big shots and he gonna have to be able to take some big body shots early in this fight Keefton showed us over the years that uh he ain't good with them gut busters you know you start tapping Keefton to the body right uh he'll, he'll, he'll fold up he done done that plenty of times now he ain't never quit but he has fold, folded up in the ring to the point where uh, had them guys landed, was able to corner him and land one or two more body shots, he would have been on the ground. And these were lesser fighters, Jose Cito Lopez, uh, Mario Barrios, a little dude. You, uh, you know, lately everybody getting the ring with him at some point, and it's always on the back end on the fights. The reason I think that is, is because the Ben Getty style of Keith Thurman is gone, and Dan Birmingham has turned him into a, a a Floyd Mayweather clone or something to some degree because instead of him sitting down on his punches and getting getting his, his opponent's respect, he's, he, you know, because he's fast, he's using his speed and excellent footwork and movement to frustrate him instead of what he used to do is put fear in him with the big shots and make them timid and not want to come in there and get no more. And uh, I wish that Keith Thurman would come back. If Keith fight a, 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 a good combination of how he been fighting with Birmingham and some of the Ben Getty style, especially in the beginning and in the end, he, 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 he could somehow pull this off. You know, uh, if he come out there and, and plant his feet and sit down on his punches in that first round, now, you, now he got to be responsible with his defense. But if he go out there and be responsible with his defense, plant his feet, and, and, and lay something good on uh, Zoo, I mean, something real good, I mean, blaze him, 
that will change Tim's, who I believe, I think it'll change his whole fight plan. I watched his daddy. You know, uh, Costa Zoo was a good fighter, but I seen uh, Ricky Hatton kind of take his heart from him in, in a fight. You know, uh, so for me, I, the fight is 50-50 for where I'm standing at. And it's only 50-50 because of Keith Thurman's inactivity. I think Keith is a much better fighter than Tim Zhu. I think, you know, part of that will be somewhat obvious. But inactivity, uh, it, it could lead to, look what happened to Earl and there were Crawford. Not to say that Crawford wasn't a, is, is an excellent fighter, but... When you stand out the ring 17, 18 months and getting in there with, with, with a dude on the top of the food chain, you're going to be, it, it will be exposed. You will see who been in the gym and who haven't. You know, and uh, I think Keith might be more ready than people going to think because he was getting ready for Earl Spence. I think I remember last year he was staying ready because he didn't know he might have got a call from Bud Earl. And, he, you know, he was in a mode that Floyd Mayweather always said, you got to stay ready. That's where you don't have to get ready. You know, so if you stay ready and the phone call on, on short notice, it ain't no thing. And I really think, I think, I think Keith wants the money more than anything else. It's been a long time without a paycheck. But I think also, unless he just, you know, unless this going to be his style, I think he's going to really realize, one, he really need to win this fight. And two, he need to have more than one fight a year. And these guys got to stop all this motherfucking cherry picking. I can understand Crawford cherry picking. He at the top of the food chain and he older than all the rest of them here at the end of his career. So I, it, it makes sense for him not to fight Boots, in my opinion. But at this point, once Earl have his surgery, and when uh and and if Keith get past Tim Zoo, it ain't no reason for the rest of these dudes not to fight him. The only one that really get a pass on that is Terrence Crawford, in my opinion. You know uh, but everybody else, it's about time for somebody to step up to the plate and get a young man to fight. You know uh, but I like Keith. I do like Keith in this fight. I won't bet it be just because of the inactivity uh, but. There are ways that I see that Keith can get a win in this fight, even though he's been out the ring for a long time. But uh, that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like or subscribe. To the next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.